Right, Jack, first question from the fans. Uh, describe the feeling when you scored your first goal in senior football. I am really happy. I mean, it got us it got us on level terms and got us into a, um, a little bit of a role and we started to control the game. So I thought it, it gave everyone a lift and personally for myself it was a great achievement. Um, what do you consider the strongest part of your game? I think um, me runs in behind. I think I'm quite quick and um, I'm quite smart. So I created that little three yards to to make the run in behind and I think me, me speed is probably one of my main attributes. Um, is, are there any particular areas of your game you think you need to work on more? Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's always a lot you can work on. I mean, I, I'm I'm a rookie in the, in, in, the, in the game of football, so I've got like five, six, seven more years of learning. So I need to keep working on everything, and not just me finishing, but me hold up play, me passing, just everything I've got to work on. And okay. um, what's the biggest difference based on your, your debut between the standard you've been playing in, in 21's football and academy football and, and League 2? I'd say the physicality. I mean, under 21s, you're playing with lads your age. I mean, you come across an older one now and again, but definitely playing against men, it's a, it's a more physical game. So, it's probably okay. that. Uh, if everything goes well, would be happy to extend your loan here, you know, maybe to the end of the season if, if it goes well as everyone could hope? Um, I'm just I'm concentrating on the next couple of games ahead. I mean, we've got four four big games that we, ho we ho hopefully we can win. So, just get these out the way and then go back, reassess, and see what happens from there. Yeah. Um, has anyone particularly impressed you in training so far for Cheltenham? All the lads, I mean, we've, they've been training on a match tempo that's it's been really high intensity. Not not one of them has shown like a like a, a bad attitude. Everyone's going into training with with a winner mentality, and I think not, no no one's stood out really, but everyone's really really been impressive. Okay. Um, I, I know the answer to this one, but are you red or blue? I'm a red. Yeah. <laughs> always been a red. Yeah, do, you, do, you remember, do you remember what your first game was at Liverpool? Um, no, it's been a it's been a very long time. My dad used to take me when I was like five, six. Right. Okay. Um, who who's your idol growing up? Um, I've had many, but I, I always favoured Lionel Messi or Diego Maradona. I've read books about them and watched them over and over again on YouTube. They're like my main inspiration. Right. And if you could pick one Liverpool striker, is there anyone any favourite that you've enjoyed watching more than any over the years? I'd probably say Robbie Fowler. Yep. He's taught me so much. Okay. Um, what were your first impressions of Cheltenham when you when you arrived on on New Year's Day? At the, at the club last week, um, we we haven't really seen much of the uh, much of the town yet, but it's it's been lovely so far. All the people have been very welcoming. All the lads down the train and all put all the gaffer and everyone just been very welcoming. So I've loved yep. it up to now. Okay. Who do you think is the best player in the world at the moment? Messi. Yeah. Um, is there any player here who's given you advice and sort of? I know you've only been here a week, but taking you under their wing and giving you more advice. I think everyone really. They've been. They've been because because we're kind of new to like I'm new to the league, league football. They've all been giving me little advices on um, like how how to play and what to expect in in the games and stuff like that. Because they they they've seen me in training and they know what I'm capable of. So they've been really helpful in that and they've been telling me what to expect. So I've won really. Yeah. Okay. Um, what age did you join Liverpool? Um, I'd been there since I was seven, but I signed at eight. Um, how different do you think it will be living in uh, forever, however long you're here in Cheltenham compared to Liverpool? You know, it's a big, much bigger city. Yeah, I think it, it takes time to get used to, but cause I'm, I've been living in Liverpool my whole life, so I'm a, I'm a city lad. But it, it's a nice change. I mean, it's not frantic and stuff like that, so it'd be nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, someone's asked if you can ask Stephen Gerrard <coughs> to stay at Liverpool. Uh, I don't, I'm not expecting you to comment on it, but is, is he? What's, what's the reaction been like up there to, to you know the news he's going because he's obviously probably one of the all-time greats, isn't he? Definitely. I mean, all my family and friends are all devastated. Me personally, I'm devastated he's gone, but it's a it's a great great opportunity for him to continue on his career. So all the best to him. Yeah. Have you trained with him much and had much to do with yeah, him? Yeah, I've trained quite a lot with him, and it's been an honour to train with him, learn off him. He's one of the world's best players. So all the best to him. Yeah. Okay. Um, who's the best player you've played with in a game? In a, in a game. Um, unfortunately, I haven't played with Luis Suarez in a game, but um, you played with him in a training game. Yeah, I played with him in training game. So if that counts, then I'd say Luis Suarez. Yeah, I'll let you have that one. Then. <coughs> if you could partner Fowler, Suarez, or Owen up front, who would you pick and why? Um, I'd probably go with Robbie Fowler again. I mean, both talk talk stuff boys, so I think the link up would be quite good. So yeah, yeah. Robbie Fowler. So when Robbie comes in, does he just work on things specifically with strikers? Is that is, is, is it got like a coaching role? Yeah, um, he comes in now and again. It, him, McManaman, and Rob Jones all 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 down there quite a lot. But Robbie, yeah, he, he focuses on the strikers and 
gives off little tips on how to finish, where to finish and stuff like that. So yeah, he's been really boss. Yeah, how, how much are you looking forward to Hartley Pool away? Because it's an overnight trip, it's a yeah. chance for all three of you to get to know the lads a bit better and sort of, I know they've all welcomed you in, but an overnight stay is a good chance to spend some decent time together, isn't it? Yeah, I'm buzzing, I can't wait. The, the lads have been great, we've bonded with them straight away from the get-go, no one's been shy, everyone's came up and introduced themselves, so be a good be a good night travelling up there and hopefully we can get the win on, on Saturday. Yeah, and you've got one in one for Cheltenham, do you know what your overall record is this season? Because you've got quite a few in the county um, football, haven't you? So it's not sure, not sure, I haven't counted, I've just... Um, just been pl trying to get as many games in as possible, but hopefully I can keep. I can for however many games I'm here, four or five. Hopefully I can get more, as as many goals as games. Yeah, brilliant. Cheers, Cheers thank right. you.